and they also talked about gay marriage or marriage in general. And we will continue now with the, the video. Are you opposed to that? What if they get married and they decide, you know what, we don't need kids. I'm going to get fit. Let me go back. There's the um, experience. I think of marriage is, is a certain thing, which is the, um, the context for, uh, for procreation, for, the, for the, the building of the, the nuclear family. What about people that get married that don't have kids? Are you opposed to that? What if they get married and they decide, you know what, we don't need kids. I'm going to get fixed. You get your tubes tied. Let's travel the world. Well, what do you mean? Am I opposed to it? I mean, I, I think that uh, that every married couple should be open to life. But what if but, they don't want to? Are you opposed to them being married? If marriage is only for procreation and to bond a family together, what about people that are deeply in love that never want to have children? I, I don't think it's it's not only procreation, but that is one of the fundamental definitional uh, uh, aspects of it. Uh, of course, there's more to marriage just than that. And, and what about people that are infertile? they fall in love and they realize that they can have babies. They don't really necessarily want and to they, adopt. And, Is that okay well, for them to be married? Because then you're by definition, marriage falls into a completely different thing. Cause then it's a bond of love. It's a union of love. Sure. I mean, that doesn't change the nature of, of marriage though. It's a, it's a little bit like, um, I say that, uh, uh, What's the definition of a woman? Well, a woman is someone who by her nature can conceive children in her womb and bear children. And then the response is always, well, what about women who are infertile? Does that, right. does that destroy your definition of woman? And uh, it, it doesn't because, you know, it, it's, still, it's still a woman's nature to bear children. Not every woman will. And there will be disease and infertility and, and old age and all these things that will preclude that. But it's still, it's still of her nature to do so. Um, and I would say the same thing for marriage. I mean, it's, it, it is natural in a marriage for, for procreation to occur. It's not always going to happen in reality, though, but that's still that's still one of the natural functions of marriage and and uh, married couples who can't conceive children. There are other ways to um, be parents like adoption, for example, if they want to. Right. So, but if people want to be married and don't want to ever have children, are you opposed to them being married? I'm not I'm not I wouldn't advocate a law that would prevent it. But would I, it change the definition of what their marriage is to you because they don't want to have a family? They just want to have a loving bond. Yeah, I just want to point out. So actually, from the start, Joe Rogan made it very clear that he was not. He didn't agree with his point of view. In the sense that he asked the question immediately. As soon as he said, I believe that it's about marriage and having children, or marriage is about procreation, mm -hmm. Joe Rogan immediately challenged it. He did not challenge it to, and I must add, he challenged it directly as well. You know, sometimes people beat around the bush, yep. but he's asking straight questions, straight questions. Yep. And examples yeah what, what if this what if that i don't know if he actually so so this is it's it's like a gray zone right okay. um disagreeing and agreeing sometimes you challenge people just to challenge to see how far you can go what their thoughts are behind the statement they say i think he disagrees with him fundamentally but that's one thing I do myself as well a lot of times. I just challenge people to see what is behind that thought. Yeah. Are they is there really I think I think this is the one of the business rules when you're consulting and solving problems. If you ask five times why, you will get to the root problem. You, you keep asking why, you keep asking, you keep asking and see what 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 is behind that statement. I think he fundamentally disagrees with him but sometimes you got to ask why to see how far uh, uh, how far did they really think about what they are saying because a lot of people say a lot of stuff and they don't really have thought about the counter arguments they will get 
to, to, to basically, because you can say anything you want. I'll be honest. You can say anything you want. That doesn't mean that the thought you have is actually correct. That's why you have peer, peer, uh, peer challenge. Peer review. Peer review. Yeah. Yeah. You might be, you might, you might be writing some malarkey. You might be saying some malarkey. It's basically peer reviewing the, the idea. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Maybe, but, but at least I wasn't trying did. to be right, by the way. I think you're right, but. Just no, no, no. an asterisk to it. Yeah. So what I'm saying with I think you're right is that because I said he doesn't he made it clear he made it immediately immediately clear that he did not agree with him. Mm. But he did not tell him you're wrong. Mm -hmm. He asked questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what I meant with oh, asking okay. questions to see how strong, so how, how well have you thought this through? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It sounds like, a, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I don't really disagree or agree. I don't have actually, I haven't even ever thought about this the way he thinks about it. I would have to let it sink in. But I would like to know what made him think this thought because it's a it's a wild statement if you think about it you think it's a wild statement no it's not really wild it's a it's a statement which you can ask questions about like dude what the heck is this yeah if 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 he's not saying uh, the goal of marriage is it's interesting it's an interesting statement. let's let's at least it's an interesting statement Maybe wild. Maybe I was, ex uh, I was wilding out a bit. Maybe I was. Maybe I was. But let's continue. Let's continue. I think this will be a, a couple that is rejecting uh, one of the fundamental aspects of marriage, and that they they should be they they should be open to to life. I would hope that in the future they would be, but. But isn't that just a personal choice? I mean, you can have a very fulfilling life if you just follow your pursuits and your dreams and your your interests and you find someone that shares those interests with you and you share time together it's very fulfilling yeah, it's and a, loving yeah it's a it's a person it's a personal choice and that I'm, I'm not advocating for like a law that says that you you if you're married you have to have you have to have x number of kids um but then why are you opposed to two gay people doing that well because because again it's 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 not about choice it's about what this institution marriage is an institution and what is it and what purpose does it serve 